Hello, uh, my name is Jeroen Breuer and in this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, install the hybrid placeholder in your Cycler project. Um, this video assumes that you already have uh, a GSS project. Um, I uh, started with a solution where I uh, watched, uh, watched this video, uh, built your first GSS app uh, and once you followed all those steps um, you should have uh, this demo uh, ready um, and um, you have that on uh, I, I've installed it on the Sitecore 10.2 solution with the with the latest uh, GSS and now I'm gonna show you uh, how to install the hybrid placeholder uh, the first thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need to install uh, a package So we need to upload the hybrid placeholder package. Uh, if you want to download it, uh, I just have it available on my GitHub under Sitecore packages and you can, uh, you can download it. Um, okay, so we're gonna upload the package. Install it. Okay, so now the package is installed, so Cycle has everything uh, that I need. I'm gonna install a second package for this uh, demo. And that is the example uh, package. So in the example package, you already have a component which uses the hybrid placeholder, so you can uh, have a little demo of how it works. Okay, so now the packages are installed, uh, at least the Cycler packages, but the hybrid placeholder also has a React component, so we also need to install uh, some node packages. If you install the hybrid placeholder, make sure that the version that you install matches the uh, GSS version that you have uh, installed. As you can see, I'm also on 1902, so that is the version that I'm going to install. Okay, now that I have the hybrid placeholder installed, I can uh, start using the hybrid placeholder. So the first thing that we're going to do is, um, it's going to replace one of the default placeholders that we have. So we're going to remove that. We also need the config because the hybrid placeholder requires it because it's going to do a uh, GSS call. So 
We replace the default placeholder with the hybrid placeholder. Also send the config files. And uh, that is everything that you need to do to replace the placeholder with uh, the hybrid placeholder. Um, now we're going to install uh, the example package. And uh, for that we manually need to add a component. So now we have uh, our component that uses the hybrid placeholder uh, example. And uh, now that we made some changes to our, uh, to our GSS React app, we need to deploy that. Okay, so now it has been deployed. Um, so now that we have our uh, sidecar packages installed and we have our uh, node packages installed, uh, we can uh, start adding a component that, uh, that uses the hybrid placeholder. See, um, so first what we need to do is make sure that uh, it's added to our placeholder settings. And uh, now we can uh, add the component.
This always takes a little while. Should be almost ready. And there we have it. So here we have uh, our uh, default components that we have. And now let's start by adding another one. So here we can uh, add the hybrid placeholder example. We're going to create a new component, hybrid placeholder example. And here we have. Uh, Just a regular component. And uh, now if we go uh, back to, uh, to the website, make sure to publish it. So now here we have our component with the text, a simple date and a rich text. And now if we uh, go from a page and we navigate back to it, then first we see a loading state and then we see the text being loaded. And that is basically what the hybrid placeholder can do. If you do GSS calls and you uh, navigate between pages, um, it can already load part of it so that the default content is loaded, but the content that, uh, for example, can be a bit heavy, uh, can be loaded later. Um, and why is it? Why do we show the loader now? Because we just add uh, for the for the. It's a demo, and we just add a fret pump that sleep for two seconds. That it needs to wait two seconds before it's uh, it's actually loaded. So the rest is already loaded directly, and the date will be loaded uh, two seconds later. Now, if we check our uh, network tab, then we can see if we navigate to this page that we have two actual calls. Uh, one is our default GSS call, uh, where we have our hybrid placeholder example component, where we have the heading date and the text. And uh, you can see here that the date is uh, empty. And we ha actually have a second call which uh, uses normal uh, Sidecar APIs. It uses an API to fetch only, instead of the whole GSS page, only uh, parts of a, of a placeholder. And now, uh, basically, it only fetches the date and doesn't fetch uh, anything else. And uh, just a quick demo. So how does the hybrid placeholder it itself look? Uh, we have a special uh, rendering content resolver that inherits from the hybrid rendering content resolver and where the default uh, content resolver only has one option here we actually have resolve default contents and resolve async contents so here we build he the heading and the text which should be loaded directly and uh, if we have something that can be uh, a bit heavy for example if we need to fetch some data from a third, uh, third party API and it needs to load some data, which can be slow, then you can do that in async contest. And so here we just have a thread from sleep, like wait for two seconds and then show the date and then, uh, then show it in the website. And uh, this is actually the React component. So we get the heading, the date and the text that, uh, that we are returning here that, uh, that's that's what uh, this uh, example object returns. Um, so we get that, but we also get an is loaded state, and that is something the hybrid placeholder does automatically. So it just gives you a normal React component with the normal uh, information, but it also shows if something is loaded or not. And if it's not loaded, we can show a loading state, and if it's loaded, we can just show the date. And that's uh, exactly what this uh, this component does. So. With the hybrid placeholder, you can um, 
have a rendering content resolver and the quick parts you can load directly and the heavy parts can be loaded later with, uh, with, with a second call, which uh, gives uh, the user much, uh, a much quicker feedback, makes the uh, experience uh, better. Um, that's it, that was my demo. So um, make sure that you have uh, an empty website to get started with based on, uh, I, I built mine with, the, with this video, uh, build your first uh, GSS app, and once you have uh, an empty website, uh, you can install the hybrid placeholder and the hybrid placeholder example if you want to, um, to have uh, a working uh, demo. That's it.